Hey YouTube! Okay, so I have a big pile of parts here. I have two pairs of speakers. That is the stereo head unit from my Mazda. That's an old Sony unit. Um, 100 foot of speaker wire, terminal block, and uh, loop ends, and an antenna. So, and as you can see, this isn't the Thomas. The Thomas is over there. We're gonna mount this stuff up here in the Bluebird. Um, so, I think the way I'm gonna do the speakers is I wanna do two up here in the bulkhead somewhere. Maybe one can cover up that annoying uh, bus cam thing there. And um, maybe the other one can go where the insurance card holder is and I can put that like over here or somewhere else. Um, or behind the mirror even, where it's not showing. That would be even better. Um, and then the head unit, I'm going to have to do it now, move this crap out of the way. So um, I just bought a Dremel tool, so we're going to actually mount the head unit on this. We'll cut a hole in here. And then I think I'm going to put the antenna where Bluebird normally puts um, antennas, uh, which is um, right in front of the stop sign here below the window. Um, could either do that or I could go up there. Well, there's an antenna bracket right there. Shoot. If I could find where that wire goes, um, that might be that might be better. Um, we'll just have to take a look and see, because I might might just reuse that. I have to take a look. So that would mean I don't have to drill any holes for the antenna. Boy, that would be awesome. Okay. Um, so anyway, yeah, uh, so let's get to it. Um and I have, I actually brought my new tripod with me, so I, you will see that here in a second. More to come. All right, it's starting to look like a mess up here. <laughs> okay, so I've dropped this light again because I'm gonna run speaker wire across. Um, yeah, so there's, I've got this panel undone enough to run the wire underneath it. I should be able to just pull it up enough to where I can get underneath it. Looks like I got a couple more screws to go. But this one should come out a little bit easier. Oh, yeah. This one's going to be real easy. Um, okay, so um, got the light monitor out. I've moved the insurance card, so it's kind of hidden, but that's okay. And uh, there is our antenna wire that I found. So I'm just going to run the new one out uh, through there. Um, let me double check it here. Let's take a look at our old antenna wire. I guess it would help if the box is open, or the container is open. Let's see. Okay, so I may have to make the hole just a little bit bigger to fit that fitting through. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Well, that sucks, okay, because I'm not sure where that wire goes from out there, but that's fine. We're just going to run all new wire. Um... And we'll go from there, and that should uh, that'll that'll make it a hell of a lot easier for the antenna. Um, and then I've already pulled the panel here. I got to go take it over to the corner over there where there's power, and uh, hook up the Dremel and cut the uh, opening out. So we'll do that uh, in a second. Okay, before we do that antenna, I forgot about the speakers. So here's one of the speakers. It's a decent size. So I'm thinking for back here. I mount maybe like right here on either side. So fourth row of seats. Um, and then up front here, I'll mount them like that. One there and one here. That should be nice and easy. Um, the fun part's gonna be routing the wire, especially from this guy all the way across since I can't open this up. And then over here, down, and down here. Um, the uh, Especially around that corner there. Um, and then the back speaker wires here shouldn't be too terribly bad. So we'll go ahead and get started on that first. I can do the uh, head unit later. I want to get the speaker wire ran first. All right, YouTube. So we got one speaker up. Um, the wire going through there was not fun to run. Just because, you know, again, this doesn't open up. So luckily, I had a piece of wire somewhere over here. 
may have put it back here. But anyway, um, to f stick in there to grab the uh, speaker wire. So I got that done. Um, now we're going to... Um, this one should be a heck of a lot easier because I can stick my hand up behind here from the light monitor hole to get to it. And then those two will be done. Um, and I'll have that one hung in just a second. All right. Ignore the dome light hanging for right now. But we got two speakers hung up. All is good. Light monitor's back up. I got to put the rest of the screws in it. This is another reason why I love manual doors. When you go to hang speakers... To run a stereo system, it is a badass wire spool reel. It is incredible. So I've got the wire run across right up above here. I used my fish tape just like I did with the turn signal wire. That's the yellow wire up there. So I've got the wires going back here to uh, about the fourth row. And look at this. A wasp decided to fall asleep on the bus. Shame, shame. And I didn't walk my bus to check to make sure for no sleeping passengers. Darn. Okay. So, and here's that wire. So we'll put the speakers... I think we're going to put them between the fourth and fifth row up here. Um, and I'll uh, fish the wire up through the top of this piece right here. So it should be pretty easy. Um, more to come in a second. I still have not decided on my antenna mount yet how we're going to do that um i know i said i wanted to cut that out and drill it i don't know where this wire goes this black wire here that's zip tied um, i just can't find it um, i did drill these rivets out so i can pull this back to run the wire it's going to make things a hell of a lot easier and then uh, i'll just put sheet metal screws back in it phillips head sheet metal screws so yep more to come um, the plan is, so we'll put the head unit right down here, and then uh, on the Thomas, what I did is I have a terminal strip here, and I got these little ring terminals, and they're going to go inside the terminal strip there, if I can aim the damn camera, uh, and so all of the speaker wires will terminate to this strip, and then the wires on the back of the stereo here, the big mess of them, will go to that terminal strip. So, yeah, more to come. All right, so we're going to install a speaker real quick. Ooh, it is a hot one today. Okay, so I think I settled on... Right over this little spot. Perfect. Okay. I'm just using self tapping sheet or self drilling sheet metal screws. Uh, let me see here. There we go. Ooh, I got a piece of shrapnel on my arm. Let me grab the, uh, the screws for the speaker and the wire cutters. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is take the speaker out. Now, uh, some of this wire, I don't know if you can see here, but this one by my thumb has a black stripe while this one does not. Black stripe is going to go into the black terminal. And the non-black stripe is going to go into the... Uh, <clears throat> the uh, uh, red terminal. I'm just going to strip these real quick. I'll tell you, this insulation in this bus is itchy, itchy. Okay, 
So, as you can see, there's a black and a red. This is the black stripe one, so he's going to go in black. This is the plain one, so it's going to go in red. Okay. And I'll just tuck the wire back up in the hole. You won't really even see him. There we go. Okay. And of course, I don't have my screws, so so much for that idea. All right, let's try this again. See if I can tuck this wire back up in here. All right. Perfect. Okay. I'm thinking I want the speakers pointed kind of out. Let me grab the other speaker nut. Sorry, camera. No easy way to do this. So, I apologize if all you can see is my tuchus. Is installed. And then I'm curious to see how these hold. They may or may not hold very well once we go driving down the road, but we'll see. All in all, it looks nice. I don't think anybody will really bump their head on them, and if they do, well, they shouldn't be uh, standing up anyways on the bus while it's moving. Uh, more to come. Okay, so both speakers are up back there. I'll get that panel up next week. I got front speakers up. I got all the wiring draped over the steering column right now. Ah, uh, okay, the opening. So, I got this cool Apex Force um, Dremel tool, but the sheet metal is too thick for it, so I can't cut through it. So, we're just gonna, luckily, this right here plugs into the back of the stereo head unit. So I'm just going to cut these wires off and we'll start tying things into the terminal strip over there that need to be tied in um, with the exception of red, yellow, and black. Black obviously is ground, red is uh, power, switch power, and yellow is uh, all the time power. So here is the body solenoid and this black wire is switched wire, and this other wire down here that's kind of hidden is uh, constant power. Ooh, that's hot. So, um, it looks like we have something off of it. I might try to, I don't know, I may try to, no, I'll just put a new uh, contact on that, a new, new, uh, new wire. Anyway, uh, more to come. All right, so I have the stereo installed. You might recognize this head unit. It's from my Mazda years ago. I kept it. Okay, so our yellow wire goes here to the solenoid to the hot side all the time. This is what retains the radio memory and all that. And the red wire, which is, there are these two guys. The red wire uh, uh, is the switched power. And then ground is right here. I just crimped a nice long wire onto it on that black. And then this is what I did in the Thomas. I got me a nice terminal block. And so the white and gray are left and right um, out for the front and green and purple are left and right out for the rear speakers. And so I just crimped some connectors on these speaker wires. I didn't label them and I just, just trial by error. Okay. Sounds pretty good. Yeah, both of them going there. I have EPI, sponsored by AbbVie. 
Dad is the smartest and I've reversed you know. the directions on these rear speakers. So this one is right, this one is left. I did the same thing in the Thomas. answer it from anywhere. Sounds pretty good. Now on special buy. If you want to hear how crazy it is, crank the bus up. How doers get more done? Offer valid through June 19, 2022. Participating US stores and online. And then five for customers. Oh yeah, I fixed this guy too. Chances are you're jamming in your car right now. And since Liberty Mutual customizes car insurance, so you only pay for what you need. Lebo and I are going to show you some safe car So insurance. even in the back, it sounds pretty good. Everybody, check your blind spots real quick. So I actually recorded this once already, and Garth Brooks came on the radio, and yeah, I couldn't, uh, can't play, uh, can't play that, even though I'm not, uh, only pay for what not, you need. uh, uh, Liberty Liberty uh, Liberty uh, monetized, but. Top yeah, so I'm happy. I think this uh, ER this turned out really good. Next time, so anyway, that's it for now, guys. Um, all I have left to do is turn the radio down. Is I still need to cut this guy out so I can fit the DIN unit in there. And then I have to do something with my antenna because it's just kind of sitting here. I mean, I suppose I could mount it in the bus. That'd be interesting. <laughs> mount the antenna inside the bus. But nah. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. This wire right here, I found it. It's actually... It's actually down here. It's this guy. It's a coax for a CB radio. So, but yeah, anyway, so I call that a job well done. Um, I'm not going to secure the terminal strip in there. We'll just set it down should be fine I'll put some electrical tape over the top of it so if it does come into contact with like the stereo or something it'll it won't uh, won't do anything but yeah we have tunes and the bluebird uh, rocks and rolls now anyway guys thanks for watching hey YouTube so it's another day um, after getting all this installed um, the only thing I had left to do was cut a hole in the panel there which you'll see in a little bit Working on the antenna right now. So this wire came down here, went through, came out, and had uh, this coax end on it. And I probably could have gotten an adapter. I was like, you know what? There's no antenna on the outside. And it literally just goes right through this little spot right there with some silicone. So I'm going to pull it out. Probably have to make the hole just a little bit bigger to fit this guy through and I'm gonna fish him through and we'll mount the antenna up there and then I have this guy for an extension so um, more to come in a second I'll show you here's the cutout panel right there the hard corners are on the bottom and then I repainted this trim that goes above the driver driver window so anyway more to come in a second and boy is it hot today all right everything is nicely ran our antenna up there got a nice drip loop got our extension cable plugged in so now all that's left to do is install the radio more to come in a second all right ladies and gentlemen amongst the mess we got good sound and the engine is running right now i don't know if you can hear it but you need to do something make it like a, a bezel or something for this yeah so there we go that's how you do a, a stereo install still need to get some big screws because i drilled these rivets out to run the wiring so i'll get some screws to put in there and i still got to put that upper panel up in there everything else is put back in so that's it guys thanks for watching and that's how you put a stereo in a school bus